Alrighty, ladies, gentlemen, people of the league. It is I, your commissioner, Boofed. And tonight, I gotta tell you, it's gonna be a really, really long night. We have on the docket about 12 to 14 games, depending on time limit. This branch is gonna go ahead and... No, not branch. Um, Lynch is going to hit this one to third for the first out, which will bring up Russell Rivers. Today, for, well, starting off all these games, is going to be the Nairobi Nomads versus the Swamp Monsters. They will be playing three games tonight as this ball is launched to center field. Doesn't have a chance. It's off the wall. And that's going to go down for a double. Are they going to try to strep in, stretch it into three? No. So wise move there is you get a runner in scoring position in the first inning, which will bring up Colin Kennedy. Colin Kennedy is going to hit this over to first. Athena will grab it out number two. These two teams both coming in at six and seven. And after tonight playing three games against each other, we'll have a completely different story. As this one's caught by Bochi for the first out. I'm sorry, the final out. And up first is, look at this, folks. All right, my mind is blown. It is top Butterman hitting at the top, leading things off. Folks, it's finally happening. Top Butterman has finally made his way to the top of the order. Let's see if this changes anything as he's been down in the dumps. And, well, I guess not. Maybe he just continues his strikeout. Maybe he might need a different bat. His bat looks to be twice his size. Who knows? Either way, it's going to be one out. And now Clayton... Hornblower, the left fielder, batting second for the Monsters, is going to hit this one over to short. Mess is going to range to her left, and that's going to be out number two. That's going to bring up Bochi, the hard hitting catcher. And she's going to line this one softly to third base. That's going to be the final out. So, Don Short, who plays third base, and I hate saying that every single time, who made that last out, will bat first. And he will face Kayla Kemp. Kalia? Kalia? Kalia. Kalile. Kalie. I apologize. I'm butchering that name. Kemp. She's got a 106 ERA with a 141 whip and 16 strikeouts. That's pretty good, especially for the Swamp Monsters who uh, have had trouble, you know, keeping runs under three. Uh, they usually give up seven, eight runs a game and only score about four. So with Kemp on the mound, you'd like to see those numbers dwindle. But uh, off the glove of Bochi gets away from her. So the runner is now going to move into scoring position for Trenton Clark. And the 2-2 count is going to be hit into left field. Hornblower is going to field it, and they are not going to test the arm here early going. They're going to have runners at the corners with no outs, and it'll be Janiya Mess, the shortstop, batting seventh for the Nomads. Mess is going to hit this one to center. That's going to get down for a base hit, and Butterman will get it in. So one nothing Nomads, which will bring up Fred Moon, the first baseman, batting eighth. A 143 average with one homer and three RBIs. And now and it's going to be a bunt. Wow, Moon bunting here. That's going to be a sack bunt with no outs. So they'll have runners at second and third with one out now. And the infield will stay at normal depth for Trent. Sorry, Terrence Sparks, the backup catcher. Looks like Gaines is going to have a day off today. And maybe Gaines should come back in the game. That's going to be out number two. So top of the order here. Into the second inning, getting a second at bat is Damon Lynch, the left fielder. And 
Lynch is going to hit this one up the middle. That's going to score one. Butterman will get it in, but not in time. That's going to be a two-run single for the leadoff man, making it 3-0. And now it is Russell Rivers, who had a double in his first at-bat. Let's see what he does against Kemp here, as she's already doubled in the half her ERA. And now it's 2-2 count with two outs, and the pitch is swung on and missed on the inside part of the plate. Down goes Rivers, but not before the Nomads score three. It's going to be the Monsters sending up 4-5-6, the meat of the order, to try to get something in, re in, uh, in return. So here is Bryson Duran, the DH, batting fourth. And a 3-1 count is going to take one in. Full count. Foul ball. And he's going to hit this one back. Will it stay in play for the catcher? It hits the fence, so that is a no. And then he takes the ball inside. That's going to be the first out for the monsters in the second so now it's diana athena who's going to hit this one up the middle underneath the glove of the pitcher and that's going to go down for a single for her and now it's bobby munoz the third baseman who's moved down in the order looks like the monsters are trying to switch things up here they will be facing postel snell She comes in with a 4 ERA and a 142 whip with only 14 strikeouts. And now she's going to walk Munoz. So Dalton Chen will get his first licks here in the bottom of the second. Batting 7th and playing 2nd. And on a 1-2 count, he's going to hit this one back to Snell, and it's going to get off of her glove. And he is going to beat it out for an infield single. So that is going to have the bases loaded for Teal Bishop, one of the newly acquired players via free agency. And this ball is going to get down, and oh my! What a fantastic play out there in right field. I believe that is Clark, who makes a great sliding catch and then doubles up the runner on first. I'm not sure why the runners were moving on contact. There was no reason for it. Could have easily tagged her at least halfway. And instead of scoring one for the Monsters, they will go empty in the bottom of the second. That's going to be grounded on the second for the first out. Now it's Thaddeus Conley. DHing, batting fourth. Conley is going to hit this over to first. Athena will make a diving play. And that's going to be out number two. So here is the Dawn. And the Don will hit this softly back to the pitcher. Kemp throws him out for the third and final out of the inning. Nine one two do up for the monsters. Here is George Armhorn. Right. 
This ball's gonna be hit softly to right field and is gonna be Rivers who ranges out to right field. Fantastic way to track the ball. That's gonna be out number two. So it's gonna be Hornblower getting his second at bat. Full count the payoff pitch to Hornblower, and he's going to take a ball outside. That curveball may have just missed, according to the umpire, and that's going to bring up Bochi, who loves to hit low ball, so you try not to... You want to live down in the zone. I mean, that's what you are taught as a pitcher, but Bochi loves hitting it down there, and that's a prime example Unfortunately, it is to the speedy center fielder Kennedy who ranges back about 100 feet to catch it on the run. So great defense for the center fielder there. So here is Clark who made that fantastic sliding grab in the second to prevent the monsters from scoring. The 2-2 two -two count is swung on. swung on and missed. That's going to be the first out. Ness is also going to swing on and miss, and that's going to be the second out here. So Fred Moon will bat with two outs, and he had the sack bunt his first time. Three one count, and he hits this foul. Now full count, and this ball catches the corner, so three up, three down go the Nomads, all three on strikeouts. Here are the Monsters, four, five, six, again, meet of the order, do up, it'll be Duran, who takes the ball low. Full count to Duran, the pitch is going to be laced to center field. That's going to get past Kennedy. His speed is not going to help him here, or at least it will in the fact he gets it in quick, but not to catch the ball. So he will hold Duran to just a single. So Athena will bat with a runner on first and no outs. She's going to pop this one up in foul territory near the third base line. It's going to be the Don underneath out number one. This ball is going to be laced to the Don there, and that's going to be two quick outs for Snell. After the leadoff single, and here is Chen. Chen's going to take a pitch that looked to be a little low, but, like I said, the umpire is going to have, it looks like a pretty big strike zone today. So through four, your score is still 3-0 Nomads until the top of the fifth. Terrence Sparks, the catcher, will lead things off. This is going to be hit softly to Athena at first, who steps on the bag for the first out. And that's going to bring up Lynch, one for two, with two RBIs. And Lynch is going to hit this over to right field, soft liner, and that's going to get down for a one-out single. So now it's Russ Rivers. Number 26. And Rivers is going to hit this one a mile high. Underneath it, 
is Butterman. Two down. Now batting the center fielder, number 43. So here is Kendi. Batting with two outs and a runner on first. Struck out his last at bat. Three one the count. And ball four. Kemp walks him. Now batting the designated hitter. Number four now pitching. Number thirty-nine. So Kemp is out and in is Donovan Hartman. And if you are a monster fan or on the monsters, this is not a good sign to start the night. And Hartman comes in and shuts the gate, but Kemp is out, and now it's going to be a bullpen game for five innings. Four, four and a third. And then you still have another game after this. So the bullpen is going to be tired. Actually, you have three games after this tonight. Bullpen will have a busy day. That's for sure. So here's Teal Bishop, who got robbed on the sliding catch by Clark and Wright, his first at bat. And he's going to hit this one softly to center. Kennedy ranges in and will grab it for the first out. The 2-2 count is going to be fouled off. And another foul ball. And then over to the Don at third. Out number two. Now back, the center fielder, number 11. Here is Top Butterman, who hits this one deep to right and off the wall. But it was foul, so one two count. And he looks at a ball low. And then hits this one over to the Don at third. Out number three. Now batting the third baseman, number eleven. Here is a drop third strike for the Dawn, and easily thrown out. So now it is going to be Clark, who swings over the top of this one. Hartman's going to come in with a 180 ERA, a 75 whip, and 23 strikeouts. And if you have that many as a reliever, either one of two things. You're really, really good, or... You come in quite often, so it could be a case of the both right now. But either way, it's going to be a walk, and Mess will bat with him on first. And this ball's going to be hit up the middle past the diving Chen at second. So that will be a walk and a single for Fred Moon, who last time in this position... Well, it was no outs, but he bunted to move the runners over. And here he's going to hit it to Chen. Catches it easily and tries to double off the runner at second unsuccessfully. So now it's Sparks who's going to try to spark something in the Nomads here. Sorry, you had to. It's too easy. Low hanging fruit. Here's a 1-2 count. The pitch by Hartman is swung on and missed. Climb the ladder. And that's going to be the third and final out. Your score is still 3 0 here, going to the bottom of the sixth. Monsters sending up their better hitters. 2 3 4.
This ball is going to be rolled over to short, out number one. So Snell is still in this game at 87 pitches. And here she's going to face Bochi for the third time. And Bochi's going to finally get through. She's going to have herself a one-out hit here in the six, continuing that hit streak. So here is Bryson Duran, the other half of the Duran brothers. And Snell's 90 first pitch is up high. And then she's going to get hit. Oh, gosh. You hope she's all right. That was hit. I don't know if it was the chest or the shoulder. Uh, let's see if she's going to stay in the game. If you're the manager of the Nomads, you don't want to see that. And she is out of this game, as she should be. She has a body contusion, as the trainers will say. And now, runners on first and second with Athena batting. And Lena Dozenrolls comes in to try to help out her fallen comrade here in the bottom of the sixth. And this ball is going to be hit to left, and that's going to get down in front of Lynch, who will throw it in quickly to hold the runners. So no runs will score, but here is Bobby Munoz with the bases loaded and one out, a lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup. It doesn't matter. He He's going to hit it to left field. Lynch is going to feel that they're not going to test his arm for a second straight time. So 90 feet advance everybody, and now it's Dalton Chen. Dozen rolls trying to come in to stop the bleeding. Instead, she is causing more damage than, uh, than she can help. Chen fouls this one back. 0-2 pitch. Foul ball. And Chen swings at a ball up at his shoulders, out number two. So now it's Teal Bishop who last time with the bases loaded hit it to right field and got uh, got his sinking line drive caught. Quickly down one and two. The pitch is in the dirt and all they have to do is step on home which is what he does and that is going to do it here for the bottom of the sixth. They do score one so you're trying to Scratch back, claw your way out of the hole. It's a good way to do it, win the inning. And now Hartman will face the top of the order, Damon Lynch. And Lynch is going to send this one deep to right field. It's going to be caught at the wall. Bishop makes a nice catch on the run. Wow, that could have been extra bases. Good, uh, good way to track it there in right field and this ball is going to be hit to right field again bishop is on the run so the first time he caught it on the right next time he's going to go to his left and cut it off at the wall to hold russell to a one out double and here is kennedy trying to get an insurance run here in the seventh and a pickoff play almost gets him Kennedy goes down swinging. That's out number two. Here's Conley with 2-0 count. Make it 3-0. You do have an open base, but you want to throw it to Conley. He's only batting 94. There you go. Go right after him here. Hartman does so, and a pickoff play on a full count. A little odd. Payoff pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's why you go after him instead of just giving him the free base. Going into the bottom of the seventh, 9-1-2, do up for the Monsters. And this ball is hit to deep right field. And guess what, folks? We have ourselves a ball game. 
a solo shot here, 408 foot line drive homer by George Armhorn, his second of the year. And now you have Top Butterman, and he's going to hit this one hard, but right at the Don at third. So that is unfortunate. Top is getting some good swings in, but it's right at somebody. So here's Hornblower versus Dozen Rolls. And he's going to take ball four, four straight pitches. So here is Bochi, the switch hitting catcher, who is looking to uh, put some butter on this one. Get it? A dozen rolls and, and butter. I'll see myself out. Full count to Bochi. The payoff pitch is swung on and missed. So that's going to be out number two. Here is Duran. Duran's going to hit this one over to the Don at third, who throws it over for the final out of the seventh. They do win that one again. It's a 3 2 game going into the top of the eighth. And the Don will lead things off for the Nomads. 0 for 2 today with a walk. Batting 245 on the season with a homer and four RBIs. And the Don's going to hit this one to second. Chen will field it cleanly, out number one. Now batting, the right fielder, number 10. Now pitching, number 80. Out is Donovan Hartman, and in is Teresa Holloway, the brand new acquired pitcher who just was acquired yesterday. Comes in and gets a strikeout in her debut. Don't look at her stats. Uh, just a quick tidbit. You cannot erase stats. So who she replaced, those were the stats previous. So unfortunately, there's no way to uh, reset the stats. Hopefully in Super Mega Baseball 4, they will. Either way, Mess will take the walk. And here is Fred Moon, 0 for 2 today with a sack bunt. And her delivery is kind of a sidearm submarine style, and she throws a hundred. But Fred Moon says, I don't care, I'm gonna hit this back up the middle. You throw it a hundred, I'll hit it a hundred right back at you. And that's gonna be a two out single. So here is Terrence Sparks. Looking to light this one up. And he's gonna hit it up the middle, but Chen was shifted over. So it looks like they had the scouting report on him. That's gonna be the final out for the Nomads. 5-6-7 duo for the Monsters. Diana Athena, the first baseman. 2 for 3 with two singles. They're going to take out Fred Moon and put in Aldo McCarthy as a defensive replacement. Same thing with Sparks is out and Gaines is in. Again for a defensive replacement. You would think that in this position, if you had, if you were going to put Gaines in for defensive purposes, you might as well put him in the offensive uh purpose as well. You know, pinch hit him there for Sparks, but instead they did not. That's just poor managing there. So out is Dozen Rolls after the walk, and here is Leo Concentrado. Concentrado's going to have a ground ball here. That's going to be a 4-6-3 double play. That's exactly what you want. Coming in as a reliever, that'll officially close the books for a dozen rolls. Who gives up one run on three innings pitched, or two and two-thirds, something like that. 
and here is Chen on a 1-2 count is going to take it and turns and screams at the umpire. That's not very sportsmanlike. So here is the Nomads. Sending the top of the order. Looking for any sort of insurance runs here against the monsters. You never know. And Lynch is down on strikes for the first out here, so Russell Rivers will get his fifth at bat. Two for four, two doubles. And this ball's hit to deep right field. Does it have enough? It does not. It's going to be Teal Bishop ranging over to his right for the second out. So here's Kennedy. Three zero count, red light, and now with a three one count, you're looking for anything close or anything to drive, and he didn't have to worry about that. That almost hits him in the ankles. That's going to go down as a walk. So here is Conley, batting ninety one. And this ball's going to be hit softly to second. Out number three. So, no insurance runs here. The Monsters will send up 8-9-1 to get at least one run to stay here. And two to win it in front of the home folks. It's going to be Leo Concentrado still in the game to close it out. Here's Teal Bishop. And he's going to lead things off with a rope to right field. That's going to be through for a leadoff single. And now with George Armhorn, who had the solo shot last at bat. Let's see if they want to bunt him over for the top of the lineup or if they're going to have him swing. In this position, you want to either bunt or push the ball to the right side to get that runner over. Because if it gets through... That runner could be on third, and your tying run will be at third base with one or no outs. Full count, the pitch. He takes the ball high. Great eye. Wow. So now, folks, I'm not calling it. No home runs, no RBIs. Top Butterman's first game as leadoff, and he's going to hit this one slowly to short. So, he does his job as a leadoff batter and he moves the runners over to win the game for home blowers well to put them into position to win the game runners on second and third with one out and that's an ugly swing a fly ball in the outfield will do it and I'm not sure what is going on oh my horn blower unhitch the trailer my man the first baseman gets it throws it over to third third baseman throws it back to first and you still are out Oh, man. So, here is Bochi with two outs. Gotta come in clutch here. You really feel in the pressure. And a low ball. This ball's hit up the middle. And that's gonna be one run. Kennedy's throw is going to be not in time. The Monsters win it on walk-off by Bochi. That is her second walk-off this season. Wow. What a game. That came down to the wire. 4-3, your final score. Monsters will take the first of three games tonight between these two teams. Concentrado will take the loss there as he tried to close it out, and winning her first game of the season and for the team is Teresa Holloway. She comes in and pitches one and two-third innings for her brand new team and gets the W. Armhorn will get your RBI, or, or sorry, your MVP with the solo shot, but I'm going to give it to Bochi. Bochi had the walk-off hit, so we're going to go ahead and give it to her. And give me one moment. I will go ahead and start the next game. It's actually going to be these, te these two teams again, and since that game was so exciting, we have to have a rematch. 
So give me one moment, let's get it going. Alrighty, we are back in it here. Same two teams. Uh, looks like we went from night to day, though. A little odd. But uh, same park, same everything, except for the pitchers. Today, well, first pitch is going to be grounded over to Armhorn at short, out number one. So here's Russ Rivers. Your starting pitcher for the Monsters will be Royce Crush. And this ball is going to be hit foul. Will they let it go fair? No. And this ball will be hit over to Armhorn for the second time this inning. Out number two. So here is Kennedy. And Kennedy's going to hit this one deep to center. Butterman's going back, stops and catches it out number three. So quick inning for the Nomads. One, two, three, they go. Now it's the Monsters' chance. Here is Top Butterman, who is getting the second game at leadoff. And again, he did not switch bats. He's not listening to the announcer. Maybe he needs to just shorten up. He fouls this one back. One, two is the count. And he goes down swinging. Now batting, the left fielder. So now it is Hornblower. And Hornblower hits this one deep to left. Does it get out of the nook? It does, but just barely right into the Monsters bullpen. And I mean just barely. 430 feet. Third home run of the year. His seventh RBI of the season. And man, it hit that... If you just hit that few inches to the left, that ball was staying in. And now it is your third batter, switch hitting catcher, Bochi, the hero of last game. And she's going to continue stroking. Here is a liner to right field. That's going to go down for a single. So here is Bryson Duran, the DH. One half of the Duran Duran singing group. He's going to line this one, but foul. And this ball's going to be hit, but foul down the line again. Going to hit this to right field in the triangle there. Right fielder Clark calls it and catches it for out number two. Here's Diana Athena, 3-0 count, and they put a slider right there, and now a changeup way outside. Runner will go with two outs and a full count. Athena can hit this in the gap and get another run. Instead, she'll hit it up the middle for a base hit. Will the runner advance the third? She will not. That is Bochi. Bochi's not looking to run. She's a little tired from playing all these games and carrying the monsters. So here's Bobby Munoz. No, inside. Munoz is going to hit this one straight to left, but right at Lynch. That's going to be the third out. 
but they do score one. They continue their uh, their hitting, and here are the Nomads, four, five, six. Down goes Conley, here is the Dawn. And the Dawn will go down on strikes. Out number two, let's see if Crush can strike out the side. Here is Clark, the right fielder, batting six, and that ball almost hits him. No, that's low. This ball's going to hit over to Athena, who makes a diving stop, throws it to Crush at first. That's a little PFP for you. And that's going to do it for the Nomads. Bottom of the second. Here come the Monsters. The second baseman, number 16. Well, that's low. This one's going to be dribbled out front. Shen will be thrown out for the first out. Here is Teal Bishop. And Bishop is going to line this one to left. That's going to go down as a one out single. Also bring up Armhorn. Who had a solo shot in the last game. And he's going to roll over to the Don at third. Who's going to try to make a double play, but not in time. They will get the leadoff runner. Sorry, the lead runner. And here is your leadoff man who's not batting ninth. He's batting first. As Armhorn's going to try to steal second, and they do. Sparks' arm is not strong enough. And Butterman's going to hit this up the middle, but Mess is going to go ahead and field it, throw him out. So he's putting the ball in play at least. Now batting the short spot, number 27. Here is Mess who made that last out. Ball inside. Batting against Crush who has a 3 ERA. 117 whip and 22 strikeouts. This ball's going to be hit over to Athena at first. Steps on the bag. First out. The first baseman, number 28. Outside. Ball. The run. Go inside. And Fred Moon goes down on strikes. So here Sparks, the backup catcher, getting two games in a row, trying to get games a day, uh, a full two games off. Maybe he can come back healthy. goes down on strikes so three up three down go the nomads here is hornblower who had the solo shot in the first inning and hornblower is going to hit it to the same spot he did last time but not enough he uh May have exerted himself in his first at bat. He's going to have himself a double. So a leadoff double, and that's going to bring up Bochi, who has a single. And she's going to have herself another hit. Bochi's going to get all the way to second, even with her speed and being a little, little uh, tired. Going to have an RBI double. 
making it two nothing monsters. And here is Duran, who's going to pop this up to center. Out is Rivers in short center. Out number one. Now batting the first baseman, number 29. That's down. This ball's ripped to the left field through the diving, past the diving third baseman. And that's going to be a single. So now Bobby Munoz, who's 0 for 1, will bat with runners on the corners and only one out. Sasha Price is his opponent today. 11.30 ERA with a 2.51 whip. And this ball is a good throw uh, to get uh, the runner. Can't remember who it was. And straight four straight balls for Bryce. Will walk Munoz, and now it's Dalton Shen. Number 16. By the way, Rice has a 11.5 ERA and a 252 whip with 19 strikeouts, and that's going to be the third out. So a couple more hits for the Monsters, but nothing doing for them. I'm sorry, they do score one off of Bochi's double. It's now going to be the Nomads who are 0 for 9 against Crush. Gonna be another strikeout. Second baseman, number twenty-six. That's outside. And another strikeout. Crush is, dare I say, crushing it. Here's Kennedy. No, that's inside. One one count. And he goes down on strikes. So three up, three down, three Ks for the Nomads. And, well, nothing doing for him throughout the game yet. Here's Teal Bishop, and I'm going to step away for just a moment. And back, and I believe that was Armhorn who got thrown out there. Here's Butterman. It's gonna hit this one foul. So Armhorn does have a stolen base and now a caught stolen base. And here's Butterman who Well, he hits it hard but right at somebody. Here come the Nomads. Here is Conley, who is 046 so far today. And you can make that 0 for 7. The Dawn. Batting 236 with a homer and four ribbies. Crush through four and a third is only at 55 pitches. Very efficient so far. Now it's a full count to the Dawn. And it's going to be grounded over to Athena, PFP. No, she's going to take it for herself. So now it's Trenton Clark. 
Run! Nope, that's high. Park sends this one for a ride, but foul. No, that's low. Two two count, two outs. The pitch in there. Strike three. Crush has himself yet another strikeout. We'll have to see how many that is. Now back, the left fielder, number thirty. Here's Hornblower versus Rice. Inside. Ball outside. 3-1 count, looking for his pitch here, and that's going to be ball four. I think that's his third walk in two games here against them. And that's going to bring up Bochi, who is two for two with a double, a single, and an RBI. And she's going to line it just foul. Oh, my. Almost had herself another double. And she's going to go down swinging, so she is human after all. Now it's Duran. Full count to Duran and see if they want to move the runner at first. They do not. He's going to hit this one to center. Underneath it is Kennedy. Still waiting. Still waiting. And out number two. Here's Athena batting 318. Fouled back. 1-2 count, and the pitch from Rice. Inside, ball two. Another foul back. Good battle by Athena. So now it's a full count. The runner will take off, and this ball's going to be hit back to Rice. Easy throw out number three. So nothing for the Monsters here. Eight strikeouts for Crush. Through five. Top of the six, it's going to be the shortstop mess leading things off for the Nomads. That's down. Low. That's inside. Three. The full count payoff pitch. Swung on and hit. Munoz is going to make a nice diving play. And that's going to be the first out of the sixth. Here's Fred Moon. And folks, I'm not, uh, I'm not saying anything. And there it is. Oh, it's the curse. The curse. I didn't say anything. That's going to be their first hit of the day. It comes into the sixth. It's a standing ovation for Crush. As I'm sure he is crushed about it as Moon is going to go ahead and try to steal and get thrown out. So here's Sparks. And this ball explodes on the bat. That's going to be the final out. So they do get their first runner. But Crush is facing the minimum of 18 batters so far. He's doing phenomenal today. Here is Munoz who made that diving play last inning to save the no-hitter. But then the next batter got the hit. So it was all for nothing. He's going to roll over to, to Moon at first. It's a little PFP to Rice. First out. Here is Chen, who is going to go down on strikes. So now it's Bishop, one for two today. Number 
I wouldn't say the Colonel's pitching has been bad. It's just they've been overused. Which I, I guess would be in part they have been doing... They have been doing the best, right? Rice is down and Class Word is in. But she is responsible for the runner on first. And this ball is going to get down in the gap. So that run may come across and that will be charged to her. Let's see. This ball is coming in. Rivers will throw it home and not in time. So that's going to be an RBI double for Armhorn. And now it's top Butterman who has a chance with two outs to get his first RBI of the season. And he's going to look foolish there on his swing. Oh, and two. And swings there. I, Butterman, I don't know what, what to do with him. Uh, he's still one of my favorite players, but unfortunately, uh, he is just not doing what he's meant to do. But back to the Colonels here. Uh, the Colonels, they have... Uh, they've had some rough outings, and that really hasn't helped. Uh, the, the pitchers, they one, one or two get beat up, and then the rest of the bullpen has to catch the slack, and unfortunately, after pitching 40 games, three, four games in a row, or sorry, 40 pitches, three, four games in a row, as Lynch hits just the right field for a single, uh, it, it tends to deteriorate the arms quicker, and that's why the stats aren't as good as they should be. So I feel, I feel for the Colonels. Rivers is going to send this one to center field. Butterman will camp under it. Still waiting. Still waiting. And out number one. Now back, the center fielder, number 43. Here is Kennedy. Kennedy's down 0 and 2 quickly. And a ball outside. The first game between these two, um, well, depending on how you look at it, it was an exciting one. And um, Royce crushes out after the hit in the ankle. Here is Gina Tanner with runners on first and second. It's going to be Thaddeus Conley, who is batting 83 now. And I'll get back to that question in a second as Conley's going to hit this over to the right side. Bishop's going to get it in quickly so the runners will ed stay where they are. So, base is loaded for the Don. Let's see what he has to do against Tanner. Hmm. 2-1 is your count. The pitch by Tanner is hit softly up the middle, and Chen is going to catch it and then flip it to second for a double play. I'm not sure what the Nomads were doing right there. Uh, it's a soft liner. You got a freeze on it. You're not going to go score on a ball hit that short. Uh, sorry, hit that softly. So uh, a base running mistake by the Nomads cost them one to two runs there. Minimally, but uh, that is unfortunate. Here is Bochi with one out. Uh, but back to the first game. Unfortunately, for if you're a Nomad fan, you were on the receiving end of a walk-off. And uh, it was quickly 3-0 and for the Nomads. And then the Monsters clawed back in the 7th, 8th, and 9th, scoring 1-1 one, one, and 2. It was a fun game to watch for sure. As Duran's going to hit this to right center, this ball is going to get down and in the gap. That's going to be not extra bases. Uh, Duran decided to not go, or maybe he tripped. There was a sniper in the trees. I don't know, but either way, he is at first, and here is Athena batting with the probably slowest runner in the league, I guess, at first. And down goes Athena. So, top of the eighth, the Nomads really need to get something brewing. They only have three hits. And now they have six, seven, eight coming up. Need at least one run here to incite a riot in your dugout. Get things moving. Here's Clark's gonna hit it over to Armhorn with a dive. The arm is good enough for the first out. 
So here is Mess, the shortstop, batting seventh today. And this ball is hit foul. And it's foul again. And popped up to the catcher. It's going to be Bochi out number two. Now the first baseman, number 28. That's low. So here's Fred Moon, who has a single. Got the first hit of the game for the Nomads in the sixth, breaking up the perfect game, and then thrown out. Trying to caught steal or trying to steal second. And he goes down on strikes. That's the final out for the Nomads in the eighth. Here are the monsters trying to get an insurance run or two. In the bottom of the eighth, last at bats for him. Here's the third baseman, Bobby Munoz. That's up. And he's gonna hit this one right at Moon's head, out number one. This ball's going to be hitting the gap all the way to the wall. It's going to bounce around in the nook. That's going to be two base, two bases there for Chen, I believe it was. And now it is Teal Bishop batting with a runner on second. One for two with a single and a walk. And this ball's going to be hit in the same area, but not as hard. And that's going to be the second out. So here's Armhorn, one for two with a double, Ball outside. and I'd really like to get him on any way possible. I want to give Butterman one more chance this game. I'd really like to see him do something, and here it is. Base it up the middle. Kennedy's throw is going to stop the runners from advancing. So now top Butterman, again, one of my favorite players in the league, is going to bat with a runner on third. So maybe he gets his first RBI yet. Yeah, he has had a couple hard hits, but right at people. He also had a couple strikeouts. Counts 1-1. One, one. And now it's 1-2. Gets himself in these kind of counts all the time. And now it's full count. The runner on first will run. And he swings at a ball low and breaks his bat. I would too. I... I think that's his fourth strikeout in both games today, maybe fifth. So, Bobby Munoz is out. Haley Montez is going to come in as a defensive replacement. She was just picked up the uh, earlier today as well. So, both players who were picked up today for the Monsters are going to make their debuts. And now it's going to be Lynch versus Tanner. Tanner's still in the game. Looking for a, boy, uh, like 12 out save it seems. Pitch two, maybe three innings now. It's a 2-2 count to the leadoff man Lynch and down he goes. That's the second out. And now it's all up to Russ Rivers to start a rally for the Nomads. Tanner is looking locked in up there. And that's in for a strike. The 1-1 one, one count fouled back. So they're down to their final strike. And it is Russ Rivers who's going to hit this one foul. Ball high. So deuces are wild. The pitch swung on and missed up in the zone. Nomads are out. Here are the Monsters victorious two games in a row. 3 nothing is your score. Beautiful performance by Crush, who gets the win, six and a third. Eight strikeouts, gets his first win of the year. Tanner is going to have the first save of the year, and Rice will have her third loss of the year. I believe that's going to make the Monsters 500 club. I believe they're 8-8 eight and eight now. No, they are 8-7. and seven. I believe they're 8-7. and seven. And the Nomads are going to be 6-9. and nine. 
these two teams will play later on today again for the third time of the night uh, next up we will have the Owlins versus the Comets so stay tuned we're only a couple minutes late we'll get it started in just a second Here we are, game three of 12, 13, 15, who knows how many games we're going to have tonight. It's going to be the Eric's Owlins versus the Mercury Comets. Leading things off, it's going to be Tippy Jacobs, the center fielder for the Owlins. And she will be facing Irvin Krill. This ball is going to be hit to right field. Can of corn out there, it's going to be Winkleson, nope, home run. Winkleson, I believe, is in left field. So one out. Here comes As Killington. Do we have any As fans in the chat? As this ball is hit foul. And As is going to go down. You know what matchup I really want to see? is the is as killington versus tiddly good that's a matchup i want to see today you either have a you're either a tiddly man or an as fan listen i'm bored guys i'm sorry have to make jokes have fun vaughn goes down on strikes that's gonna be nothing for the owl ends. here is your comets gleaves struts and roads leading things off Leaves batting only 194, but it's got crazy contact and speed. One of the uh, better leadoff men in the league. And speaking of leadoff, this ball is hit deep to right field. Does it? Is it excuse me, stuttering a little bit. It is. It's going to be a solo shot, a leadoff home run for the Comets. And that's going to be a 375 foot pop-up basically second home run of the year sixth rbi and that's going to be a great start for the comets one nothing after one batter next batter is going to be struts who grounds over to as out number one here is plover Rhodes checking both directions and he's going to hit this one, laced it to center, but Jacobs is going to come in and catch it at her thigh. Nice running catch. So now it's going to be Harper McGahee. Who's going to roll over to Salinas at first for the final out, but the Comets do get that leadoff home run by Gleaves. So they lead 1-0. Here is Mr. Revenge, Constance Jericho, who has been slumping of late only a couple hits in the last few games and he's gonna bounce this one to krill throws him out and here is greenman greenman has been the opposite of mr revenge greenman has been on a tear he has I'm trying to find it one moment. I have it here. It is 10 hits in his last five games, but unfortunately it's not going to show as he strikes out here. And now it is Madden Chung, the DH. For those of you who are a manager or a GM of one of these teams, for any teams in the league as this ball is caught by struts go ahead and hit your check-in status uh, emoji do anything just let me know you are here and you will get a reward in your bank or upgrades we'll see exactly how many people and what we could do for you but as long as you are here and supporting the stream and the league you will be rewarded and your team will love you for it as Winkleson goes down on strikes Here's Miguel Durham. Uh, Miguel's nickname is Bull. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe someone can help me out there. 
Bull. Durham. Somebody. Here's Lampman. Ball low. It's going to be a 2 0 count against Shields. Cole Shields steps in with a 740 ERA, 148 whip, and 26 strikeouts. Should be his fifth game of the year starting wise. And full count, the payoff pitch is hit over to Salinas at first. That's going to do it for the Comets here in the second. Top of the third, 7-8-9 due up for the Owlings. Now batting the left fielder, number 20. Chavez is down on strikes, out number one. The catcher, number 54. Now batting the first baseman, number 27. And that's going to be the out number two. So here is Salinas, the first baseman, to face Krill with two outs. And she's going to hit this over to two. Bull at second. That's going to be the final out for the Owlins, who got nothing here through three. It's going to be 8 9 1 for the Comets. Home run. The left fielder playing right will lead things off. And down he goes on strikes. Throws his bat in disgust. Here is Josias Rateki, the catcher. The one two count. Fouled away. And then looks at a ball, or I'm sorry, a strike that catches the inside part of the plate. Two down. And here is your leadoff hitter, Justin Gleaves, who led the game off with a home run. Two two count. Pitch is low, but he f hits it anyway, rolls it over to Salinas at first. That's going to do it. For the comments, nothing going. Top four for the Owlins. Here is Tippy Jacobs. And Jacobs looks ugly on that swing. Krill fooled her like... I, I don't even know. That that was just disgusting looking. So here is Az Killington, the shortstop, batting 273 on the year with two, make it three home runs. Oh. Now back the second baseman, number 12. And that ball was hit off the wall. I apologize. It looked like it was going to be a home run. And that's going to be the third out. It's going to be Vaughn. So now it's going to be Joe Strutz facing Cole Shields. And I'm going to be in and out here. I do have my food. So I'm going to try to eat and announce at the same time, but not while you guys listen to it. So... I will be in and out here.
number 29. This ball is hit to left field, and that's going to get down. So now it's going to be Ray Winkleson, the left fielder, batting with two outs and a runner on first. He's going to hit this one to right center. That ball is going to get down. It's going to split the outfielders. Jacob Speed will cut it before it gets to the wall, and that will save a run. Bull's going to hit this one to second. Vaughn will field it, and that's going to be the final out. Going to the top of the fifth. Your score is still 1 0. Comets. Revenge will ground, or sorry, fly this to the left field out number one. And it looks like Krill may have hurt himself on that last at bat or last batter. It uh, looks like he might have some elbow inflammation. Not sure, but he's still throwing the ball and the trainers didn't take him out, so he might have told them to get away. But either way, he does get through the inning and here is Lampman. Here is home run. And this ball is hit over to Vaughn at second. Second out. And Vaughn is busy out there at second. Fielding plenty of ground balls. And Krill is still in this game, even though he has a bad elbow. Here is Alina Horn, the catcher, 2-2 two -two count, fouls this one off. And now ball three, it's a full count. Krill's elbow's got to be killing him right now. I mean, with any kind of elbow in your pitching, yeah, it, it hurts. Trust me. Experience. He's going to have ball four, so now it's going to be Salinas, the first baseman. What a daring play. The center fielder, number six, now 
Excuse me, Krill is out and Matt is in. But let's talk about that last play. The, that was very aggressive by the third base coach to send the runners. And I mean, it paid off, but just barely. So now you have runners at second and third with one out. And you have the top of the lineup, Tippy Jacobs, who does have some pop and speed. So she gets the ball in the gap. Watch her run. Full count. And she's going to take ball four. So the Owlins will have bases loaded for the ads man against Finley Mad. Let's see what happens. Takes a ball, or I'm sorry, takes a strike. A little high. And now he's quickly down 0 and 2. Fouls it back. So the 0 2 count is hit. Up the middle. Gleaves is going to feel that they're not going to test his arm, and why would you? Dude's got a cannon out there. So now, with one out, base is loaded. You have Brennan Vaughn, the third batter. And quickly, 2 0. Oh, he's looking for his pitch. Zero in. And he just missed it. Just a tad bit late. Get that foot down. So now 3 1. Square it up. He fouls it back. And on the full count, he's going to ground this one to second. It's going to be bold to struts. And back to first. That's going to be a double play. Unfortunately for the Howlins, they only score one, when, but it could have been a lot worse. Mercury Comets get out of that one and send up their top of the order. Boy, I can't even take a bite of my food before before some stuff happens. Full count for Struts as that was a stolen base by Gleaves, and that's exactly what he does as a leadoff hitter. Gets on, gets over, and Struts has to do his job. Instead, he's going to walk, what gets his job on getting on, but as a two-hole hitter, you got to push that ball to the right side. Get him over no matter what. And here's Rhodes batting with runners on first and second, and he shows Bunt. Your third batter showing bun. That's uh, it's very odd to see. Shield's 77th pitch is up in the zone. That's going to be a ball. Runners are going to take off, and the throw not in time. It's a double steal. Very, very aggressive. So now they have runners at second and third with no outs. And this ball's going to hit over to Brennan at second, and they're going to take off. It was on contact. Especially with the speed of Gleaves, yeah, on contact he was going. So now the Comets will have a 2-1 lead again. And here is McGahee with one out and a runner on third. So he walks. And that's not a bad idea by pitching out of the zone to get the double play in effect for Winkleson. And down goes Winkleson, so here comes Bull. Killington makes a great play there. Stopping the ball, throwing all the way across the diamond for the final out of the inning. Here is Mr. Revenge. And Mr. Revenge is going to send this to left field. And Winkleson, oh my. Superman that, well, you know. Well, maybe you don't. Some of you, uh, some of you may be kids, but as Soldier Boy once said, Finley Matt is out and J.R. Praline is in. But Winkleson, man. Winkleson made laid out 
I, this is a PG-13 stream. If you want to know the lyrics, uh, just, you can find it on the internet. This ball is hit back up the middle. That's going to go down as a single. So you have runners at first and second with uh, two outs. And Alina Horn, the catcher, is up. So a full count, the runners will move on the pitch, and this ball is hit foul. And another foul. And ball four. Now batting, the first baseman, number 20, now batting, number 23. So a pinch hit and a pitching change. And here is Hesto Herschel versus Camila Green with bases loaded and two outs. And she gets them. So it comes in clutch. And they keep the score two to one. Leading thing is off for the Comets. I believe that was Winkleson. No, that was not Winkleson. He was last out. <clears throat> Can't remember who that was, but they got a double. And now this ball is by a home run is quickly thrown by Shields. It looked like he did all in one motion. So he does his job by moving the runner 90 feet. And now with one out and a runner on third, Rateki has to do a job here and put the ball in play, preferably in the outfield, in the air. Killington's going to try to grab that. That's going to be a foul ball. Down goes Rutecki. And now it is Justin Gleaves, who will not face Cole Shields, but Jocelyn Brownpole. Rutecki has a muscle strain. So let's see if he is going to be put back in the game and brown pole comes in and then immediately walks gleaves intentionally i'm not sure why maybe they didn't want the righty lefty matchup they want the righty righty matchup in joe struts who's 0 for 2 with a walk and gleaves says all right walk me i'll go in scoring position either way so now there's no force out at second Puts another runner in scoring position, and a base hit's going to give them two runs. I, I'm, I, I'm baffled at the decision there. This ball's going to be rolled over to Greenman at third, so fortunately, it doesn't hurt them, but that could have been way worse than anything. Now the center fielder, number six. Out in the game, number 11. Six, four, three, double play. So now Vaughn 
We'll bet with nobody on. It's not going to be against Green. It's going to be against the closer, Nicholas Crawford, who's in what looks to be a four-out save. Vaughn's going to hit it hard, but Rhodes is going to dive and stop it. Out number three. So, bottom of the eighth, last at bat here for the Comets. Three, four, five, they're sending the heavy hitters in. Down goes Rhodes on strikes. Here is Harper McGahee, the DH. 283, two homers, and 13 RBIs. And this is caught at the wall. Chavez makes a nice catch against the wall. Out number two. Mickelson will ground this over to second, out number three. So no insurance runs here, top of the ninth. Owlin needs something. They send that four, five, six. Try to get a rally going. Here is Mr. Revenge, Constance Jericho. Facing Crawford, who's still in the game. Like I said, might be a four-out save for him. Down he goes on strikes. So here's Austin Greeman in danger of losing his hitting streak. He is on a five game hitting streak. And now he's down one and two, down to his final strike for him. And he goes down on strikes. So, down to their final out, it's Madden Chung. Versing Nicholas Crawford. And Chung will get this ball through. Third baseman Rhodes was guarding the line. And Chung will be the tying run at first. And here is Chavez. Pickoff play, he's safe. And he goes. A decision here that costs them the game. Not sure what the Owlins are doing there, but they lose. Comets will win by a final score of 2-1, to one, and I'm not sure what they were doing again. Base running mistakes in this game. Your winning pitcher is going to be Mad, who gets her first win of the year, and Crawford will get his first save. Loss is going to go to Shields, making him 0-3. Your MVP is going to be Gleaves, who had that leadoff home run and three stolen bases. That's what you want to see out of your leadoff runner. Sorry, leadoff batter. We are moving along quickly. Let's try to get this next game in. It will be Divine versus Mudhens. And I'm going to start this, and then I'm going to have to step away from the computer in a moment. So as soon as I start it, I will be back. All right, here we are. It is the Grand Portage Colonels versus the Eric's Allens. And I will step away here for a moment. I will be back within the next couple minutes. I just have to do a few things, and then uh, I'll be back to announce it. Enjoy. Right fielder, 
number 11. The left fielder, number 28. Designated hitter, number 36. Shortstop, number 67. That's low. The right fielder, number 30. The center fielder, number 17. Now back, the shortstop, number 22. The catcher, number 24.
first baseman, number seven. The left fielder, number 20. The third baseman, number 44. Designated hitter, number 36. Now batting the center fielder, number 17.
for shortstop number 22. Number seven. The shortstop, number 67. The third baseman, number 44. All right, I'm so sorry about that, folks. This ball's gonna be hit to right field. I believe that was Olsen that hit that. Seems like the Colonels have a 1 0 lead. Jorge de Guzman is up with a runner on first. The pickoff play is not in time. And it looks like I may have missed. missed a few steals. <laughs> As de Guzman is down 1 and 2 now. Takes the ball in and swings the ball down and in, and that's going to be the second out. The designated hitter, number 36. And the runner's going to go. It's going to be Olsen, who is safe. So now it is Jesus who's up to bat with a runner in scoring position. It's going to be two outs, 2 0 count, runner on second. And this ball is hit deep to right center field. Is it going to stay up long enough? It will. Jacobs will go ahead and catch it. So, nothing doing for the Colonels. 6 7 8. Come the Owlins. It's going to be Matt and Chung, Chung leading things off. And 
and Chung's gonna hit this to left field. That will be De Guzman on the run, out number one. So here is Chavez versus the lefty, John St. Anna, and this ball is going to get down all the way to the wall. De Guzman's going to play it nicely and get the ball in quickly. Great arm, so the runner did not want to test it. It'll be Alina Horn, the catcher, facing off against John St. Anna. Swings through it, strike one. And Horn is going to hit this to right field. Olsen's going to uh, let it drop. Uh, I, I don't know uh, if that was on purpose or not, but if it was, amazingly smart play, as that's going to actually get the slower runner on first. So uh, Fielder's Choice will get the runner on, and it's the slower runner. So again, if that was intentional, fantastic, smart, 1,000 IQ play, by uh, Olsen and Wright. If not, then, well, hey, good on him. Makes him look smart. 76th pitch is in there for strike three. So do up for the Colonel, six, seven, eight. As they need a few more runs, because we all know what happens with the Colonels late in the games. They have the uh, Gator Syndrome. They give up a few runs. Here is Jordan Fields versus Marcos Glenn. And this ball's grounded over to second, out number one. Steven Duke, 0 for 1 with a hit by pitch. The 1 2 count is fouled back. And this ball is going to be hit over to Vaughn, out number two. I don't know who has who syndrome either way. Uh, the Gators and the Colonels, whenever they have a lead late in the game, they blow it. It doesn't matter what happens. It's, uh, it, it's one of the flaws that they have. Even though their bullpens aren't terrible, it's just they're not having the best season. And down goes uh, Russ Richards on strikes the final out for the Colonels. So here is Tippy Jacobs. Leading things off against John St. Anna. She's going to ground this over to Richards at second, out number one. So here is as Killington. And he goes down on strikes. So now it is Brennan Vaughn who's not trying to go down on strikes this at bat. Ninetieth pitch, payoff pitch, gets him. Three up, three down, three Ks. Phenomenal inning there by St. Anna. And now Galvin will be leading things off, the catcher. That's going to do it for Fields. It's going to be Tapello Plaintiff. Galvin is batting 324. And it's only going to climb higher with that base hit up the middle. So stepping in, one for three with a triple is Pablo Sanchez, batting 373 with two homers and seven RBIs, and there goes Galvin, the catcher? Somebody help me out on that one. As Sanchez it looks at a strike now, and he takes a walk. <laughs> now let's see if Sanchez wants to take off. Apparently... The Colonels are run happy and everyone has a green light. No, not a green light. 
every one is a must steal. That's what it seems to be like for the Colonels. There is no green light. It is just no breaks. Everyone runs. And if you don't run, you're cut. That's what it seems like. There goes Sanchez, and the throw is not in time. Sanchez is going to have himself his stolen base. Now Takovic will have a 2-2 count. Down he goes. So now it's going to be Quash Olsen. With a runner on second. Plaintiff trying to hold him. One, two, count, and down goes Olsen. So the steal is for nothing, as they do get a runner in scoring position, but instead they get nothing out of it. Here is Mr. Revenge, who is one for two with a double. Lefty on lefty matchup, 93rd pitch is a ball. This might be St. Anna's last at bat or last batter, especially after a walk. Let's see if they want to take him out now, because Greenman, who's 0 for 2, well, I guess they're gonna leave him in. Uh, lefty on righty matchup after the walk, and he's at 96 pitches, and that was a pitch out. I guess they're expecting Constance to run. And now it's ball three, so you put yourself in the hole here. And he walks, so four straight pitches, including a pitch out. Not quite sure what's going on there. And here they finally take him out. St. Anna is out, and Klaus the game is in. So here is Chung versus the game. And this first, uh, second pitch is hit up the middle. It's going to be Glenn getting it in. And the runners will only advance 90 feet, so... Now it is Jacquez Chavez, the left fielder batting seventh, facing Klaus the game. Base is loaded, no outs, and this ball's hit the left field. That's going to get through. One run will score. They're not going to test a Guzman's arm. I mean, why would you? And now the, the game is tied, and here is Alina Horn. And Alina Horn hits this one deep. It is gone. Oof. A grand slam by Alina Horn. 400 feet even. Her second of the year and sixth RBIs. Wow. And now it is Aubrey Salinas. So, the Colonels had everything going for him, and all it took was two batters. And even with the great pitching performance by St. Anna... Unfortunately, he's going to get the loss because that second run that uh, scored is his batter. It was the second walk of the game, so he will get the loss, unfortunately, if the score stays. And now this ball is hit over to second. That's going to be the first out. And here is Tippy Jacobs. Out is Klaus to game, and in is Art Deacon. This ball's going to be hit softly to third. Takovic will throw her out. Here is Az Killington. 0 for 3 today. Two two count. Slider outside. And now full count the payoff pitch. Ball four. Now back, the second baseman, number 12. One, two, count. The pitch is ball two. And Vaughn's going to hit this one to right field. Shallow. Olsen's camped underneath it. 
for 8.5 seconds, and that's going to be the third out. But they do score five here in the late goings. It's going to be top of the eighth. Unfortunately for the Colonels, they're going to have to play from behind once again. But they are very familiar in this territory. So here's De Guzman, who does this quite often. Hits the ball, and it is gone. Hits it hard, far, and from behind. Giggity. 427 foot. His eighth of the year, 13 RBIs, so doesn't usually hit them when runners are on. Designated hitter, number 36. So it is now a 5-2 game, and De I'm sorry, Jesus is going to go back-to-back -back with them. Oh, man. Look at this, folks. The Colonels. The Colonels are coming back. 396-foot line drive, fifth home run, 10 RBIs. And now it is Marcos Glenn. Do I sniff three? <laughs> Folks? No, not with that swing. Forget about it. I lied. Forget about it. And it is PG-13. I'm allowed to make a joke as long as there's no nudity. And this ball is going to be hit to the right side and passed, well, hits off the glove of a diving Salinas that will go down as an infield single. So they do have three straight hits. Out is Plaintiff and in is Brown pull. Steven Duke is up. And <laughs> the runner goes and is thrown out. Glenn, I'm not sure what is going on with the Colonels. It seems like they must go. I will have to figure out why that is happening because they have ran themselves out of at least 20 runs this season. And look at that, a base hit up the middle. Could have been runners on first and second. Unfortunately, it's just a runner on first with one out. And here's Russ Richards. Yes, unfortunately, they stole again and was caught. And this ball almost hits Richards in the face. 3-1 count. So now is the time you could possibly run with a full count and one out, but they will not, as Richards will swing and miss for the second out. And here is Galvin, the catcher. 343 now after that single last at bat. One homer and two RBIs. And he's going to hit this one, but right at Jacobs in center. That's going to be the third out. So they do score two, which is exactly what you want to do. Uh, score a few runs here back and forth. Here is Jericho, the right fielder. Versus Art Deacon. And Jericho's going to hit this one deep to center, but there is Glenn out number one. Now it's Austin Greenman. And Greenman's going to hit this one deep to right field and, well, off the top of the wall. Olsen's going to field it cleanly, and the throw will not be in time. So a few inches away from a solo shot, instead they're going to have a double and a runner in scoring position with one out. And here is Madden Chung, the DH. Quickly down, 0-2. Deacon's next pitch is inside for a ball. And outside, strike number three. So here comes Jacquez Chavez, two for three, two singles and an RBI. He's going to hit this to right field. It's going to be Olsen. Playable right at the line, out number three. So last at bat here for the Colonels. They need to score at least two to stay in this game. They have the top of the order coming up. Pablo Sanchez will lead things off, triple and a walk. This ball's going to be hit up the middle. Killington will feel it, and with the arm of his, that's going to be an easy out, number one. The third baseman, number 
So here will be the second batter, Gene Takovich. Only batting 186 on the year. Still in the two spot, facing Brown Cole. And Takovich is going to hit to the right side, diving as Salinas knocks it down and throws over to the pitcher, Brown Cole, covering out number two. So it all comes down to Olsen here, the right fielder, with two outs, and he's going to rip this one up the middle. That's going to go down for a single, so they do have the tying run at the plate, and you have a dangerous hitter in Jorge de Guzman, who is the league leading eight home runs. He is eighth today. It's league leading. And he's going to hit this one hard, but right at Jacobs. Unfortunately, anywhere else, and that could have been dangerous. The Owlins will win this one by a final score of 5-3, to three, thanks to one inning. As uh, the Colonels almost doubled the hits. Oh, it's a few walks, unfortunately, that made that happen. And your winning pitcher is going to be Plaintiff. He will grab his first. The save will go to Brown Pole, her second. The loss is going to go to Klaus to game, even though it should be St. Anna. St. Anna, uh... Sorry, to class the game will have only his first loss of the season with a 7-1-1 ERA. It's pretty impressive. So, next game will be Divine vs. Mudhens. And we are about 10 minutes behind, so I will play one quick ad to make sure we don't do not run into anything else, and then we will get uh, the next game going. Alright, here we are. It's going to be Heaven's Divine vs. Mudville Mudhens. Possibly the last game that will be commentated tonight, depending on how I feel. Here is Kai Kirk leading things off, and he's going to have himself a leadoff double against the Mudhens. So good thing for the Divine starting out. It's going to be Dewey Browning, the shortstop now. They will be facing Kieran Webb. And when I say it might be the last game that is commentated, I do have another six to eight games scheduled. Uh, but talking for, you know, six hours is a lot, so... It's already been two and a half. And by the end of this game, it's going to be closer to three. That I basically have been speaking non-stop, minus the uh, start of last game. It's going to be Hemming Fields, the right fielder. And a pickoff play, not in time. Two two count and another pickoff play. Ball three, so full count. The payoff pitch is hit to uh, center field. Flying to bases, catches it. Out number two. Now batting the third baseman, number twenty one. Here is Jackson Achilles, who takes a first pitch strike. Find the bases with a 2-2 count. Take a ball inside, so a full count. And he swings and misses on 103 mile an hour fastball. Wow. 103. Coming in from Blaze Olympus. And this ball is going to be hit over to third. It's going to be Achilles out number two. And I mean, I guess that's why her name is a Blaze, right? 
103. That's insane. And now it's going to be Jimmy Blake who hits us over to first. Diving play over by Beck. That's out number three. So three up, three down. Here come Divine. 103. That's, that's impressive. Not going to lie. The hardest I've ever faced in real life was 98, and that was... That was hard to hit. So I couldn't even imagine. Even though it's 5 miles an hour, 5 miles an hour is a lot of... It's still a, a huge difference, so... I couldn't imagine facing 103. Here is Harold Beck, who is going to hit this one up the middle. It's going to be Casey at the bat. Fields it out number two. The center fielder, number seven. Here is Stevie Wants, gonna pop this up to second. Jimmy Blake's camped underneath it. Out number three. So three up, three down. Really quick for Divine. Here are the Mud Hens. Now back, the first baseman, number 46. Low. And it's gonna be Annabelle Dennis who hits this to right field. Fields will grab it. Out number one. Harilla McKay, the DH today, batting fifth, batting 176 with a solo shot on his docket for the season. Blaze has a 532 ERA, 136 whip, and her 27th strikeout of the season. Right there is 27. So now it's Twist Rums, the left fielder. One, two, count. Up high, gets him. Out number three. Now battle, the designated hitter, number 30. So here is His Royalness, King Plunder, batting 246 on the year. And he's going to go down on strikes. That's going to be the first out. And now it's Amori. Splitting time with Rosas. Uh, Divine is having a platoon catching uh, regiment, I suppose. Or they pretty much go back and forth is what it seems like. And this ball's going to be hit off the wall. It's going to be in for a single only as he did not want to push it. Maybe he's injured. I don't know. We'll have to see why. And now it's Kai Kirk, the leadoff man, who had a leadoff double in the first inning. He's going to hit this to the left side. That's going to get through. Two hits for him now in the early going. And now it's Dewey Browning batting 324 with three homers and 11 RBIs on the season. We're about halfway through. So here is Fields. One, two, count. Runners on first and second. Two outs. And he's going to ground over to Cortez at third for the final out. Nothing for Divine. Here is the Mud Hens. Bringing Chris Huff, the catcher. And up 103 up at the letters. They're not touching that. Not at all. So here's Bert Ramirez. Two two count. Fouls this one back. 
And this ball is going to be hit to deep right center. This ball will hit the base of the wall and come back. Watts will field it, get it in. And that's going to be a one-out double for the Mud Hens. Here is Thiago Cortez. The runner in scoring position. One out. Takes the ball low. And quick thinking by Achilles at the hot corner. Catches it. Tries to turn a double play. Unfortunately not successful. So it's going to be top of the lineup. The bases facing off of... Facing Blaze. Struck out his last time. And looks at strike two. And this ball's going to be softly hit to right field. That's going to get down, but they're not going to test the arm of fields. I would think that at this point, you might as well, even with Casey at the bat, uh, you're facing a hard-throwing Blaze. I probably would have pushed it there, but... They want to play conservative. And let's see how it pays out for them. 3-0 count. Make it ball four. So now you have bases loaded for the ever-dangerous Jimmy Blake. Who has eight home runs, 19 RBIs, batting 353. And quickly down 0-2. Now 2-2. Two, two. Staying alive here. And he goes down swinging out number three. So nothing for the Mud Hens. They do get two hits though. Finally getting some base runners. Top of the fourth is still 0-0. Zero, zero. The third baseman, number 21. Here is Harold Beck with two outs. Playing first today. This ball's gonna be a hit over to shortstop. It's gonna be Casey out of short. Out number three. It's three up, three down, go to Vine. Mudhen's turn. And this ball's going to be laced over into the right field corner. That's going to get down. Fields of speed is not helping anyone. That's going to be a leadoff double for Dennis. And now it is Perilla McKay. He hit this deep last time. But not deep enough. And it's going to be hit over to left field. Are they going to try to test Tambor's arm? They are. The throw will be cut off by Achilles. I don't know if that was the right call or if he did that himself. But Mud Hens will score the first run of the game here in the bottom of the fourth. And now it's Twist Rums batting with a runner on first. Rums is down on strikes. So here comes Chris Huff, 0 for 1 today. One-two count. Runner goes. Ball's in the dirt. 
Amari's throw gets him in time. Out number two. So it's not just the Colonels who are thrown out. And down goes Huff. But not before they do score one. Top of the top of the fifth, you one scores one nothing. Mudhens. Center fielder, number seven. Rounded over to second for the first out, and here is King Plunder. Down he goes on strikes. Out number two. So here is Amori who had a single who hit it off the wall and did not attempt to go for extra bases. Batting 364 in the backup roll. 2 2 count. And out number three goes down on strikes. Now back, the right fielder, number 29. Full count, it's going to be Burt Ramirez. And he goes down on strikes. Here's Thiago Cortez, the third baseman. So it's going to be lofted to left field. Tambor's underneath it. Out number two. Here is the leadoff batter, the bases. Quickly 3 0, now 3 1. And swings at this pitch, lines at the left field. That's going to get down as a single. Now it's Casey at the bat with the bases on first. Two outs. Good speed at first. Let's see if they want to move him. Pick off play, not in time. It's going to be fouled off. 1 2 count. Pitch. Swung on and missed by Casey. That's out number three. So. After five, it's still one nothing. Divine will send up the top of the order. One, two, three. Kai Kirk, who's two for two. Single and a double. Is looking for his third hit. It will not be there as Rums comes in and catches it on the run. So here is Dewey Browning, who's going to hit this one right back up the middle for a one out single. Fields, who's batting over 500 continuously. We're halfway through the season, and he is still hitting at 500. Kieran Webb is pitching his 69th pitch, Giggity. And this is going to be fouled off. 2-1 count. Line foul. And Fields is going to golf this one. And wow. I thought that was going to get through, but Casey ranges over, throws it at second for the, for the lead runner. 
and almost gets turned on for a double play because of his speed. And here is Jackson Achilles who doesn't have much speed either. But with two outs, you're not looking to roll it, obviously. 2-2 two -two count. Two outs. The ball's hit up the middle, and that's going to get through. So they will have runners on first and second with two outs, and up to bat is Charlotte Tambor. I try not to miss any giggities. One one count. The pitch is swung on and hit up the middle. Let's see if they want to test the arm. They will, and that should be an easy run. But with field speed, hey, you never know. So they will tie up the game one one here in the top of the sixth. Harold Beck will get a chance. Two zero count. He takes a strike in, uh, down the middle, basically. And then swings at one outside the zone. Not very disciplined. Alright, runners will go with two outs. And he's going to take the ball high. So after I just called him out for not being disciplined, he takes two high pitches to walk the bases loaded. And now Webb is out and in is Emmanuel Moran. Facing Stevie Watts, the ex leadoff hitter. And this ball's gonna be hit over to third, and Cortez grabs it. But not before Divine ties it up. One all going to the bottom of the sixth. Here is Dennis with the runner on first. Two two count. She goes up the ladder, and Dennis is out on strikes. So now Perilla McKay will get his chance against Blaze. one count ugly swing there so it's full count the payoff pitch not a payoff pitch it's gonna be another pickoff really concerned about the runners and this ball is gonna be roped to right field that's gonna get down for a hit so you have runners on first and second with one out twist rums up the bat and blaze is approaching 90 pitches This ball is going to be hit over to second. It's going to be four, six, three, double play. They will get out of the inning. So, nothing for the Mud Hens. Did get a couple hits. But here's Divine sending 8 9 1 up against Emmanuel Moran. One and two, the count, the pitch outside. And Plunder's going to line this one to third base out number one. And it's going to be Amori who hits this one deep. And it is gone. Home run. A solo shot here for the catcher. A 384-foot shot. His first of the year. And what a time to get it here, putting them ahead 2-1 against a very good Mud Hens team.
In the top of the seventh, it is the leadoff batter, Kai Kirk. A single and a double. goes Kirk. So Dewey Browning, who's one for three today, will get his shot with two outs to continue the inning. And down he goes. Out number three. So they do get one on this solo shot. Bottom of the seventh at stretch time here. Browning is out and Quintana is in, Quintana, as a defensive replacement. Huff has an ugly swing. Blaze is still in the game at 96 pitches. It's a reverse giggity. And down he goes. One out. Burt Ramirez will step in. He has a double today against Blaze. Lefty on lefty matchup. Fouled back. 99th pitch, and here is the century mark for Blaze on the 0 2 count. Fouled off. Inside. 88 miles an hour at 102 pitches. And then she gets Cortez to swing ugly at that, so she has is having a phenomenal pitching performance today. One, two, count the pitch. Just high for a ball. And then lace down the left field line, but foul. And then another ugly swing. That's going to do it. Blaze will get him. Top of the eighth, your score is still two to one divine. And you will not stand for this peculiar reverse giggity. Good thing you're sitting down and watching this game. Fields hits this one deep to center field. In the nook. That's what she said, and this ball is gone. Divine will add another insurance run here in the top of the eighth. 439 feet, his sixth of the year. Now batting, the third baseman, and now, Jackson Achilles says, everything you can do, I will try to do better. Quash Fry, the closer, is going to come in, and his first pitch is in for a ball. Achilles is going to go deep here. I feel it in my giblets. Full count. Pitch. Oh, maybe I need to go get myself checked out by the doctor because it was not a home run. Still feeling it. Here is Charlotte Tambor. After the strikeout, we'll stand in against Fry. Ball low. 2-2 two -two count. Ball three. And she walks. So Harold Beck will get a chance. 0 for 2 with a walk. Running around first, facing Fry for the first time. And Beck's going to hit this one hard to left field, but Rums. Only has to take a few steps to his left and catches it. But man, if Beck had a different launch angle, that ball would have been gone. Here is Stevie Watts. And she's going to hit this one back up the middle. That's going to be through for a base hit. Now battle the designated hitter, number 30. So here is... His Royalness, King Plunder. 0-2 count. And he's going to hit this over to third. Cortez will field it. Throw it over to first. Out number three. 
So they do get one more insurance run on the solo shot by Fields. It's going to be top of the order. Not to face Blaze. They finally take her out. And here is Ron McKay. And the first batter is walked. And now Casey at the bat, a very dangerous hitter against Ron McKay, whose ERA is over five. And the C, this ball is going to get down in front of Fields. That was a dangerous, uh, well, on both parts because the bases was going to third no matter what. So if Fields caught it, it was going to be doubled up. But if Fields missed that. That would have been that would have been a double, if not a triple, easily. This ball's gonna be hit over to short. Quintana's gonna try to get them both. Blake is gonna be safe. So one out, they'll trade an out for a run. But it's only one out. Now their score is three to two after the fielder's choice. And here's Annabelle Dennis. Three fifty one on the season with three homers and twelve RBIs. And this ball's gonna be hit over to Kirk, makes a nice diving stop. That's gonna be the second out, but instead of trying to get the lead runner, they now have a runner in scoring position and McKay first McKay. Don't think they're brothers. Or eh, cousins or anything like that. We'll have to do some research on it. And McKay gets McKay out number three. So the Mud Hens do get one. Top of the ninth, Devine's looking for any insurance runs. Quash Fry is out and Woody Sanford is in. Work Amari, who had the solo shot earlier, gets hit in the ankle. So new pitcher comes in on the first pitch, hits him on the ankle. And now you have a runner on first with the top of the lineup coming up and the dangerous hitting Kai Kirk. And yeah, Divine might pull a sewer gator, unfortunately. This ball is going to be foul. Ball three. Now it's a full count. Kai Kirk fouls this. And the runner goes, and that is not who you want stealing. Uh, maybe they thought that KK, I'm going to go ahead and give him that nickname now, was going to make contact, but unfortunately not. So now Quintana, who is in for Douglas, or sorry, Browning, at short, will get her first at bat of the year. And she's going to hit this to the right side. Blake is going to field it in the outfield grass and throw her out for the third out. So last at bats for the Mud Hens. It's going to be 6 7 8 do up verse. Let's see if they keep the pitcher in. It is. They're going to keep Ron McKay in right now. Drops a curveball in. And then a slider outside. Change up. And then another curve. 2-2 two -two count. Gets them on the 76 mile an hour curveball. Out number one. This ball is popped up and out of play, out of play. And look at this. The Mud Hens have something doing. McKay is out and Zion Alexander, the closer, is in. 
Bert Ramirez has the chance to be a hero with the tying run on first, and he is the winning run at the plate. 0-2 quickly. And he strikes out, so no hero for him. That is going to bring up Thiago Cortez, who has come in the clutch in the past, even with his 200 average. And down he goes. So the Mud Hens will lose this one to Divine. Your final score, three to two. Exciting one throughout. Your winning pitcher will be Blaze, who had 13 strikeouts in seven innings. She's gonna get her first win of the year. Alexander will get his third save of the year. Moran's gonna have his second loss. MVP will go to Blaze for sure. And we will see. Let's see what the next game is. Next game will be the Nomads vs. Monsters. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and step back and watch this game with no commentary to, to rest my voice. Both of the owners want to see this game, so we will go ahead and do that. We're only 15 minutes behind either way. So we'll go ahead and start that in a second here. And um, yeah, I'll be in and out here every once in a while. So thanks for watching. If you, uh, this is going to be it because you don't want to hear any more commentating or you want to hear more commentating, but there is going to be none. Uh, next stream will be on Friday and we'll get four games in then. But if you're going to stay and watch the rest of these games, not going to be commentary, maybe one more game, but highly doubt it as I don't feel like talking for another four hours. So, let's get this new game going.
side. Designated hitter, number 14. Number 10. Ball inside. Ready. Outside. Break. Number 29. Off the plate. Follow. Shortstop, number 27. That's inside. Right three. Now batting the first baseman, number 28. Down. Outside. Break. Break three. Now batter, the center fielder, number eleven. Break. Nope, high.
catcher, number 10. Second baseman, number 26. Break! Break! Double! Strike three! Now batting, the catcher, number 41. Three. Now batting the center fielder, number 43. That's down. That's inside. Right. Nope, high. That's down. Out. Now battle the first baseman, number 29. Great. Designated hitter, number 14. Three. Now batting the right fielder, number 10. Now batting the 
second baseman, number 60. Great. Great. inside foul ball now back the right fielder number 15 Shortstop, number 33. Out. Now batting, the center fielder, number 11. Short spot, number 27. Ball inside. Now batting the left fielder, number 25. Drake. Off the plate. The second baseman, number 26. Now battle the catcher, number 41. Yeah. 
designated hitter, number 23. center fielder, number 43. Great! Off the plate. That's inside. Designated hitter, number 14. Number 10. Strike! That's inside. And outside. Now battle the short start. Number 27. Now back, the second baseman, number 16. First baseman, number 28. Now back, the second baseman, number 26.
number 15. Number 41. Designated hitter, number four, now batting, number three. Now batting, the third baseman, number 11. No pie. Now batting the shortstop, number twenty seven. Number 12.
number nine. Follow. Strike. Strike three, you're out. Now batting the short start, number 29. Strike. No, outside. The right fielder, number 38. Strike! Save! Strike! Hey. Now back, the first baseman, number 17. Third baseman, number seven. Ball inside. Ball inside. That's inside. Break. Break. Break three. Number six. Off the plate. Oh. Right. Up. Now batting the right fielder. Number fourteen. Right. Ball inside. Ball. Ball ball. Strike three. Now batting the second baseman, number 25. Number 26. Off the plate. That's down. Hey! Now back. The shortstop. Number 17. Designated hitter, number 16. Follow. Break! Ball high. Break! The catcher, number five. Now back, the second baseman, number 57. No outside. Now 
now batting the center fielder, number 10. Euro. Now back, the catcher, number 10. The shortstop, number 29. Inside. Break. Break three. Now batting the left fielder, number six. That's inside. Ball low. Twenty-six. Great. 
the first baseman, number 17. Third baseman, number seven. Now batting the designated hitter, number sixteen. Fight. That's down. The catcher, number five. Strike! Strike! Strike three, you're out. Now batting, the first base, number 26. The shortstop, number 17. Ball low. Ball ball. Ball ball. That's fair. Now that the third baseman. Number 23. Now batting the second baseman. Number 57. Inside. Right. Foul ball. Strike three. Now back, the center fielder. Number 10. Ball high. Strike three. Now batting the left fielder, number nine. Strike. Number 28. Nope, high. Three. That's inside. Great. Now battle the designated hitter. Number 20. Batting the catcher, number 10. 
No. Ball four. Make of it. Now batting the first baseman, number twenty-six. Inside. That's down. Shortstop, number 29. That's inside. Now back, the first baseman, number 17. That's down. Designated hitter, number 16. Right. Foul. That's inside. The catcher, number five.
Follow. Strike three. Now back, the third baseman, number 23. The left fielder, number six. Oh. Off the plate. That's inside. Strike. Second baseman, number 57. Strike! No pie. Strike! Ball. ball inside. The center fielder, number 10. Strike! Strike! That's down. Now batting the left fielder, number 9. Pitching number forty seven. Follow that's up. Thank <laughs> you. 
now back. The shortstop. Now pitching number three. Great. Shortstop, number 29. Break! Ball high. Fair ball. Now batting the right fielder, number 38. The first baseman, number 17. Low. That's up. Right. No outside. Take your base. Now back, the third baseman, number seven. Now pitching. Number 52. No. Strike. Foul ball. Foul. No pie. inside now batting the designated hitter number 16 Second baseman, number 57.
number 15. The designated hitter, number 59. Shortstop, number 25. Number 41. Steve Wright. The designated hitter, number 14. The second baseman, number 27. Number 
seven. The third baseman, number 28. Number 14. Steve Wright. Batting the first baseman, number twenty eight. Hello, that's inside. Designated hitter, number 59.
Number 42. The first baseman, number 30. Off the plate. Be right. Be right. Get up. Now batting, the second baseman, number 27. Number 28.
bat, the left fielder, number 25. Off the plate. Nope, inside. The third baseman, number 28. The catcher, number 14. Pitching number eighty four. Outside off the plate. Steve Wright. Designated hitter, number 59. Shortstop, number 25. 
that's high. The first baseman, number 30. Now batting, the second baseman, number 20. Now pitching, number 53. Third baseman, number 11. That's outside. Stay right. Stay right. Right, right. Now batting the right fielder, number 10. The shortstop, number 27. Inside. 
number 28. The catcher, number 14. Ball inside. Designated hitter, number 59. Number 26. Nope, that's low. Off the plate. Oh, oh, take a base. Now back, the catcher, number 42. Now pitching, number 41. Shortstop, number 25. The first baseman, number now pitching, number 46. That's inside. Second baseman, number 27. Thank <laughs> you. 
the center fielder, number seven. Nope, that's high. The Play first ball. baseman, number seven. On time. Ball up time. The third baseman, number 44. Number 28. Designated hitter, number 36. Now batting the center fielder, number 17. Number 
number nine. Number 27. The second baseman, number 14. Now batting the catcher, number 24. The first baseman, number seven. The third baseman, number 44. The center fielder, number six. Follow time.
Number 30. Outside. Designated hitter, number 36. Shortstop, number 22. Catcher, number 54. Now batting, the second baseman, number 14. 
The shortstop, number 67. The third baseman, number 44. Designated hitter, number 36.
back. The designated hitter, number 25. The center fielder, number 17. The catcher, number 24. Number now batting number twenty three. Now back the center fielder number six.
batted the first baseman, number 67. Designated hitter, number 36. Now batting, the center fielder, number 17. The shortstop, number 22. Now batting the second baseman, number 14. Now pitching number 53. Designated hitter, now pitching number 20. Number 54. 
back, the catcher, number 24. Designated hitter, number 36. Center fielder, number 17. The second baseman, number 14. Second 
baseman, number 12. Number 54. The third baseman, number 44.
Number 57. Designated hitter, number now pitching, number 47. Now back, the center fielder, number 17. The second baseman, number 14. Now, 
the third baseman, number 44. Pitching number three. Designated hitter, number, now pitching, number 45. Second baseman, number 12. Come on. 
Now battle the left fielder number twenty. Center fielder, number 17. Second baseman, number 14. The catcher, number 19. Third baseman, 
number 44. Number 30. Pitching number thirty three. Now, 
batting the designated hitter, number 36. Center fielder, number 17. The shortstop, number 22. The catcher, number 19. Back. The right fielder, number 
the center fielder, number 11. Number 10. Now back, the first baseman, number 13. Needed hitter, number 23. The third baseman, number 13. Second baseman, number 16. Oh, 
batting the designated hitter, number 29. Second baseman, number 16. Shortstop, number 33. The center fielder, number 11. Off the plate. Ball inside. That's outside. Ball four taken in. Now back the left fielder. Number 30. Designated hitter, number 23. Inside. Mm. Nope. 
now is batting the center fielder, number double zero. Number 13. Third baseman, number 13. D.P. Burner. Short spot, number thirty three. Off the base. Inside. That's foul. center fielder, number 11. Now pitching, number 64. The catcher, number 10.
Designated hitter, number 23. The third baseman, number 13. Number 13.
The shortstop, number now pitching, number 80. Outside. Slide. No. Shortstop, number 13. Now pitching, number 45. Inside. Ball outside. The center fielder, number 11. Inside. Now batting the left fielder, number 30. Number 58. Off the plate. Now back. The center fielder. Number double zero. That's outside.
back, the designated hitter, number 23. Now batting the first baseman, number 29. The third baseman, number 13. Now back, the second baseman, number 16. The catcher, number now in the game, number six. Now back, the first baseman, number 13. Now batting the designated hitter, number 29. Now batting the shortstop, number thirty three. Center fielder, number 11. Now, pitching, number 99. Inside. Outside. That's 
Take your base. Now batting the catcher, number 10. Batting the shortstop, number 24. Number now pitching, number 39. Thank <laughs> you. 